Hello guys, this is Tom from Halcyon Technologies. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial how to set up and how to use the HIC-Connect app. Now, this app uh, just recently been updated. They changed a little bit the, the icons, the way the app look, and they just released this update at the end of November 2017. And I'm gonna do this tutorial, so you're gonna be on top of things. Now you can download this app from the App Store or from a Google Play. They look identical. Like I didn't see any difference between the the Apple version and the and the Android version. Now once you download the app, you're gonna turn it on. First time, it's gonna ask you to select a country. So you click on this, and you can go all the way down to you. Select USA, and then click on the check mark on the top okay now on this screen there's two way to go the most common way to go is the technician gonna make with you online account on the www.hic-connect.com I have one of my other videos show how to do that uh, this account you can add as many recorders that you want you can add you can add recorders, you can add IP cameras, you can add different uh, different HIC Vision, HIC Vision OEM line product. Now we're going to show you the most com common way, which is by login. You're going to have your own login and password, which you can use on all your devices. So you click on login. Here you can put other username or your email address. Once you have your username and password, you click on login and you should get your DVR coming. In this case, I have uh, four different, five different devices. I have my home and my office and a few uh, remote units that we have on this account. Now, for the basic user, I highly recommend to click on the icon on the top left corner that's going to change the view of the camera. This is the list view. If you click on this icon, you're going to go to picture view. Now, picture view, use less bandwidth because just by clicking on one of the last snapshots, you're going to have the camera coming up right away. And it's a little bit more user friendly. So I will recommend to use this, uh, this view and then just click on the camera that you want to look and it's from this camera you can go back and change the camera to a different camera now this time i will show you on the list mode on the list mode you can choose more than one camera that you want to view this is the advantage of this mode so let's go for example to the office dvr i have two cameras that are uh, for this demo so you can choose only one of the cameras so you can choose more than one of the cameras all of them gonna be on this on this screen on the bottom and if you click on this screen it's going to become full screen okay now those numbers below the picture is actually the screen division so you can have more than one picture at a time i'm going to have this demo on one picture and i'm going to go on the icons on the bottom on the feature that you can use on the bottom now if you're going to rotate the phone you're going to get the full screen Put it back you're gonna go on half, uh, half screen view by default the cameras will come on low resolution that's so you can save bandwidth and the, the frame rate gonna be higher and the response gonna be higher now if you want to change the resolution to high quality you're gonna go to this to the toolbar at the bottom you can scroll all the way to the right and you're gonna click on this icon here you can change from basic to HD. Right now I change to HD and you're gonna see how the picture become way clear and much deeper resolution. And then with two fingers you can actually zoom in and zoom out. You're actually cropping the picture to get more quality, to get more details. Okay, now you can also change the resolution when you're in full screen mode just click on the image and go to the last icon on the right and you can choose from basic to hd okay now we're gonna go on the rest of the icons okay the first icon this is to pause the video to stop the video the next icon is the audio in case you have microphone on site this is how you enable the microphone you have to be in most devs you have to be on hd mode to listen to the audio so you want to go and change the camera to hd to view the to listen to the microphone to the audio on site 
Okay, this is a snapshot. The next one is a video backup. Right now, I'm recording to a video file on the phone what's going on on the screen. I click on it again and it's gonna stop. Next icon is the PTZ controller. In case you have a PTZ camera, we can control the camera from here. We can also set preset and call preset. And those settings are gonna be available to all devices connected to the DVR. Next icon is the, the two-way audio. Which while click on this icon, if we have speaker on site, we can talk and whoever on site can listen to us. Next one is the magnifier. It's in case you want to magnify the picture without stretching with the fingers. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to enable and disable a smart real-time alerts from the DVR. This is a feature they just added to the cloud devices on this latest version. So to enable that, you want to go back. And what you want to do, you want to change the view to picture view. And next to your DVR name, you want to click on the three dots that you have here. You have three dots, you click on it and it's going to go to the basic DVR setting. In this view, you're going to click on allow notification and you're going to enable the alerts. Right now it's enabled and if the DVR also real-time alert is set up over there, it's going to send you a pop-up alert on your phone each time, uh, each time the alert triggered. You can also set up a schedule if in case you want to get alert on a specific time of the day and you want the alert to be ignored the rest of the day. And another thing I'm going to show you is how to view playback. So to view playback, you need to go to the camera that you want to view playback. Let's say the parking camera. You're going to have the camera full screen. Okay, so to view playback, you're going to do it from the straight from the live view. From this, so if you want to view playback from this specific camera, you're just going to go to the camera on live view, and then you're going to click on the three dots on the top right corner. You're going to click on those this icon and this menu will open on this menu you're gonna click on playback and the recording will load the recording is gonna come up automatically the recording from today from the beginning of the day for the first event of the day now you can just go to the timeline at the bottom and just scroll to a different time that you want to see the recording all the lines that you see this is event so each line will that you see on the bottom which means something was triggering the recording so in this case it can be a small fly it can be anything that move on the screen can trigger the recording most cases it's going to be something a little bit bigger to trigger the recording okay in this case you're going to see vehicle passing by so let's say you want to view a different day so you're going to click on the date icon and here you're gonna see all the days that you see with a small dot below them. This is day that you are recording. So let's have an example. We want to see something happen on the 30th of the month. You click on it. You wait, and this is the recording from November 30th. Okay. Now, let's say some event happened and you want to save the file to your phone. It's very easy to do it on the phone. Most older systems will make you have to go to the computer or to stick a USB device in the, in the recorder. This app make it very easy to just back up any event straight to your phone and then you can share it with whoever you want. So, from the playback, you can go to the icon on the bottom and you have two icons. You have the camera icon, the snapshot, and the video recording. So snapshot, just gonna take a snapshot. And the camera button, when you click on it, it's gonna become red. And there's time start timer start to count. And that means you're recording this specific video, you back it up, you're backing it up to your phone. Okay, just to stop it, we're gonna back up 10 seconds stop it and that's it we have a snapshot and we have a video now to access those recording we're gonna go back one time back again to the main screen and we're gonna click on more at the bottom 
for me we're gonna go to pictures and video and this is the snapshot and the video that we backed up now those files are actually a file on your phone so they're never gonna delete unless you're gonna delete them from your phone if you click on the video we can click play and this is the video that we back up if you go to the snapshot this is the image that we just back up the snapshot now this is where a small difference between the iphone and the android on the android those pictures are available in the gallery of the phone you can view them right away when you're using iphone you're gonna have a small icon that looks like a disc to save the file to your gallery phone so on iphone you have to go to the app and then click on the icon on the bottom right corner and then the file gonna be saved to your to your device gallery that's it guys thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you want to keep on being updated with the new features with the new devices and with the new services that we offer thank you for watching